Hello kings and queens and welcome back to my channel Glam Queen DIY. I'm Tammy and I hope everyone is having an amazing and blessed day. This is your Glam Queen and today I'm coming to you with this amazingly beautiful glam quick and easy DIY wall art. So if you want to see how I put all of this together Make sure you keep watching. So kings and queens, I am taking some frames that I already have. We're cleaning out my storage. And I have about six of these oversized packages. I'm also going to be using this shower curtain from Amazon. I will put that link down in the description. And we're going to open it up for you to see exactly what it looks like. Now, as you can see, it is an abstract yellow with white, gray, and black in it, you guys. And this uh, shower curtain is very lovely, but make sure you click that link. So, here are my items. I'm using my staple gun and my staplers. I also have another backup stapler. I'm also going to be using this Crate and Barrel paint as well. And I'm using the paint, you guys, just to paint the face of the frame i'm sorry the face of the picture to hide all of the color i may paint the frame i'm not 100 positive on that yet but i know for sure i am covering up all of the darkness off of the picture i'm also using a uh, brush and my brush did come from dollar tree and that apple barrel paint came from walmart all items will be listed down in my description and i'm just doing brush strokes and you're gonna see me do two of these you guys i will tell you spoiler alert i have done two more that you're going to be seeing coming in another video that i did add uh a little bit of glitter and some rhinestones too as well so make sure you be on the lookout for that next upcoming video as well but let's get these pieces painted make sure you follow me along this is going to be very quick simple and easy and if you're watching and you're not a family member of the glam queen diy make sure you do hit that subscribe button tap that bell twice it turns blue and you'll know every time that i am uploading also please don't forget to check out our other branded channel that is that was the glam queen of decor but that channel took on a new name and it is now known as her home make sure you click those links in the description now here you guys we're starting that second picture frame and i'm doing the same thing as well we're just going to paint it and let it dry and we're going to bring you back to finish this process And now we have the shower curtain, you guys. Uh, we all make sure that I will not be using the side that where the hooks go. And I'm just adjusting the shower curtain, looking at it at different angles to see how I want these two wall arts to look. And as you can see, I have a lot of predominantly gray. So I chose to use the side angle to give me the best look, you guys. So we're just going to position it. I'm going to cut it. And you guys, this shower curtain is a 72 by 72. Now that I've cut the pieces, I'm just separating them, you guys. And we're going to lay the shower curtain down. And I did turn it upside down so I can put the picture on it face down and you guys i am going to be uh, reinforcing the stapling of this and you guys you can see this 
picture is actually large. The picture is actually a 32 by 54, you guys. So we're just layering it in and I'm just pulling it and I'm going to a couple times just look at it because I want to see what the facing looks like. And now we're just stapling and I am going to heavily staple this piece because you guys these yellow pieces will actually become pieces for my niece's home you heard me right the yellow that you have saw displayed in my home those the majority of all of the pieces are pieces that will all be gifted to one of my nieces so we're just going to reinforce the fabric and I'm just pulling and pulling in you guys and I'm making sure that I don't leave any of the shower curtain book and as you can see here I just do my folding the way I normally do when I'm creating edges so I can always have seamless edging Now I have opted after I get my pieces placed down to cut. Thank you guys. You can save a couple extra steps by just aligning your pieces up and doing all of the cutting on the very end. I just like to clean all of my projects up as I go. And once again, we are just stapling and stapling so that we can reinforce that this DIY wall or canvas will stay in place. And like I say, you guys, normally if I had used a actual canvas, I use less staples. But when I'm using an actual frame, because my frame does have glass in it, I did not take the glass out. I double secure the fabric you guys because people tend to think that it's a solid frame in which it is not but that's just one of the things that I do drop me a comment down in the comment section if you'll follow me along if you think this will be a idea that you will regret now you guys this idea is not new here on YouTube this idea has been folding around on the platform for about three or four years if I'm not mistaken so I just took my hand that I have done several of these before it is just the first one that I am actually doing on camera So, you guys, this is what canvas number one is looking like. I know you can't see the whole thing in the frame. Make sure you do watch to the end so you will see these canvases styled. Now, we are starting canvas number two. And canvas number two is just going to be a quicker process of me repeating what I did originally as you can see here my piece is already dry I did not actually paint the framing and I will tell you on hindsight after getting it up I kind of wished I had up but now that's going to be neither here and there at this moment but this is what this is looking like and I will tell you the pop of black in this uh, canvas here is, is truly gorgeous like I say the yellow my niece will be getting the yellow all of the yellow you guys and her colors are actually yellow black and cream you guys with a little bit of silver as well but we're just going to reinforce uh, 
the pictures as you can see how I always tough my edges like I say for a truly professional edge look because if you fold this sometimes you guys your edging can have that buck of the show so you just fold it I will tell you the simplest way if you know how to make a bed professionally when you tuck your corners you guys it is the same exact process And as you can see, I am just cutting again, and I'm just going to take off all of the excess, you guys, because I will tell you guys, when I do DIY projects, I like to keep my area very clean, neat, and tidy. Um, it just helps me along when I'm creating projects, but you don't have to do that. Like I say, it can save you a couple steps if you just staple your stuff down and come back on the end and cut everything it's just that it's not my typical way of doing any projects that i embark on And you guys, we're wrapping this DIY wall art video up. I'm just going over the pieces. And I did cover up the hooks, you guys. And all I did for the hooks, I just took my scissors and cut in. As you can see here, I do have the hook exposed so that I can just pull the hook out. And I'm just going along. And like I say, I use so many staples but i always do i use two styles of staple i staple straight and i staple sideways and to me this gives you the tightest most securest stapling on any job you can do all right you guys that's it we have finished picture number two you guys i'm going to place it in a spot and I'm going to let you see what they both look like hung on the wall you guys I am so so happy with the outcome of these now if you're trying to change the look of a space and you're trying to do it on a dime I will tell you find you some gorgeous shower curtains or affordable curtain that has a design that you love you guys and consider trying this idea now you guys the shower curtain was $19.99 from Amazon I'm going to drop the link for it in the description but I do like that this side this one here has more color in it because if you saw from the beginning one side had uh, uh, predominant run of the gray with the white that's why I cut it the way I did but you're going to see both pictures. I, I'm just going to hang them in my living room, you guys. And I don't know if it's going to be temporary or permanent, but I'm going to put them in there and let you see what they look like hung. And I'm telling you guys, this piece is gorgeous. All right, you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys. That is what it's looking like make sure I keep it up tight because there is some things that did change in the space and we have that one there 
I am going to add some color in here to tone down some of all of the white. But either way, you guys, I am happy with them both. And it looks like that. It looks that way. I'm telling you guys, consider giving this a try. I knew, I know you will love it. Now, you guys, if you've been rocking with your girl for a while, you know I can't close out without letting you know to always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move i'll see every one of you in another upcoming video bye everyone stay blessed and always stay positive